right, what's up everybody? Another day, another property tour. If this is your first time tuning into this channel, my name's Chuck, it's Chris Walt with Simply Vegas. I'm a licensed real estate agent out here in Las Vegas, Nevada. So today I'm out here in the south, east of the Las Vegas Valley. I just did a uh, property tour on the Mitchell and also the Glen uh, Brook. I said Brook, Glen Brook. I don't know why I always get tongue twisted. Anyway, we're over here in the south, East uh, Henderson, and uh, I'm gonna say we are what just right off the 95 in Horizon Ridge. You're gonna head east on Horizon Ridge, then you're gonna turn north on Greenway. So, this used to be an old golf course, which was actually Black Mountain Golf Course. This was like a municipal golf course, it was actually pretty fun, but uh. When we used to golf, we knew that this thing was coming up for sale, and all the people that were living on the golf course, they pretty got pretty much pissed, but, I mean, it is what it is, so that's something that I keep in mind. If you ever purchase a property in a community that has a golf course, you got a golf course view, you understand it's actually privately owned, and that they could always sell it. In this case, this is what they did. So this is actually a black uh, mountain ranch now, and they have a total of six different communities to choose from tons of them they have square footage from 1200 all the way to 3300 square feet single stories two stories and also townhomes okay 24 or 26 models to choose from i forget however uh this product is by lennar this is the arwen now the arwen here is a single story that consists of 1594 square feet three bedrooms two full baths the base price the starting price is 429,000 nine hundred and ninety dollars as you can see this is a single story home with a two-car garage off to the left we have the utilities you got the nice stack stone again with the pavers now with Lenar, most of the things that you do see already comes with it about 95 percent other than the lot premiums that you have to pay for and additional upgrades as far as flooring cabinets and also countertops on this one our side access is on the west side of the property depending on the orientation of you when you purchase the home so that's something to keep in mind also the property does come with solar panels too as well most of the uh finishings that you do see is pretty much all standard uh with lennar and uh we've got probably like eight more homes to tour however all the stuff that you see is pretty much all kind of like all the same just a different layout ring doorbell again here we have the uh programmable key or the lock so this one is a open floor plan you have this primary bat i um, sorry the primary here then we have the two bedrooms down there laundry room and the other uh, bedroom so or the other bathroom uh, so I'm sorry so as we come in first thing I notice is that they do have the upgrades on the floors these ones here are, uh, I think, uh, 18 inches on the tile with a 2-inch stagger. Now, depending on the type of stagger that you do, uh, make sure to check with the company brand and see what that stagger is. Sometimes you can do 6 inches, but also changes the look as well of the home. Right off to the left, what do we have here? Closet. Coat closet. We have... Skip trout texture, straight edge on the cornering, standard baseboards, six panel door, oh, actually a five panel door. This is a six eight on the door here. Pretty decent size island. You got the uh, Petrofenia. This is a probably about, I'm gonna say almost four feet by eight feet on the island. Got some black cabinets here with some Brush nickel modern hardware. Standard uh, cabinets. Not bad for the price of the home. You got the undermounted sink here. Then right over to the left we have our kitchen. Uh, obviously we have the espresso cabinets. Then we have our slide in uh, cook countertops too as well. Nice backsplash. You do have the chevron pattern, which is pretty cool, but this would definitely be an upgrade during the time of the build-out. 
GE package appliances, um, basically all stock and standard. As you can see, we do have the exhaust that exhausts out. Then we have our refrigerator. Now the refrigerator is not included, however, that could be negotiated. Right above this uh, door frame here, we do have the uh, doorbell. You have the LED lights, okay? I definitely would add more in the living area. So right here, this is probably where you're gonna be putting your dining room table. Definitely be nice to put a chandelier here too as well. Now let's walk down this way. Let's see what we have down this hallway. So right off to the right here, we have a bathroom. Now this bathroom is a little bit more wider in the hallway. You do have a door here, so that way, you know, if somebody wants to take a shower, then uh, the other two rooms here, one, two, one or the other, could use the sink. The only downfall with this is that when your guest comes over, we are all sharing the same bathroom, which is, I don't like that. Tub shower combo. So I'm looking at the tile already. There's already, I'm sorry, on the tub. You do have uh, some staining on the tub. That means this has been resurfaced. The problem with that is that once you try to, uh, you know, clean it, you end up etching it, you run into those problems. Again, we've got the Mullen fixtures. Now this won't be a long video. Also, if you guys wanna know what the incentives are uh, with this community, uh, let me know. Uh, I have a great relationship with the uh, sales manager, especially with this builder. And um, these guys wanna do business. You have the 48 inch uh, smart panel box. Ooh, attic access right above. Cool. You also got your exhaust fan. It's actually spinning, you can't hear it, which is good. So our, our room here, room number one, very dark. So, so like this, you're definitely going to want to add, again, some can lightings. Also, you got a pre-wired ceiling fan. This right here that you see, this is just basically for your sprinkler system, just in case if there's a fire. Now, one quick tip with the sprinkler system is it's actually connected to your toilet of the primary. So every time somebody uses that primary toilet, it flushes the line. The reason why they do that is because this place, if it catches on fire, you don't want to have, you know, stale mildew water that's all moldy. Now your home's on fire, all your things, you know, stink and it doesn't smell good. Now this is a decent sized room. This is a twin size bed, I guess you would say. It's not a very big bed, so it makes the room appear a lot bigger than what it really is. Also, you got the transfer grill here too as well. Now we're gonna make our way down here. So as you can see, it's it's pretty long. Blinds do come with it as well. Now we have a eight foot slide, which is really nice. Nine foot ceiling, something I forgot to mention. The uh, setback on here is probably about an 18 feet setback, which is not that bad. Remember, you don't get the landscaping. However, the downsize is that because this is a retaining wall, that means there's another home in the backside of it. It's probably a lot higher, okay? The downfall on here, you're gonna get calcium built out because of what happens is if they put um, plants against this wall, it's gonna be all wet. And also, you will start to eat up your block. So that's something that you have to keep in mind. We got a thermostat right here too as well. All right, uh, the door's a little bit wider, which is really nice. Here is a king size bed in this bedroom. You had your J box for your ceiling fan right above. Now, some of these uh, trims are not as straight line as possible, but it really depends on, on how picky you want to be during your NHO, which is your new home orientation. Water closet is pretty deep. Interesting. Here is your fiberglass shower with some chrome trimming and your walk-in closet. Now, this is a pretty decent sized walk-in closet. This walk-in closet is probably 12 feet deep. 
And I'm going to say probably about eight feet wide. So it's pretty wide here. And I love the fact that they put two shelves here and two shelves here as well. So you're utilizing that space. Definitely a lot of cabinet space here. You got his and her sink. Medicine cabinet. Two lights here and another light there. Now I know this video wasn't that long so we're about to finish this uh, video. So if you guys haven't had a chance to subscribe to this channel, go ahead and click that subscribe button. Other than that, I really do appreciate each and every one of you guys from the bottom of my heart. I'm Chuck, it's Chris Watt. We Simply Vegas and be blessed, folks. If you guys want to check out all our video home tours, we have over 1,800 video home tours. Just go ahead and click on this video right here. If you guys are in the market and you want to purchase a home and want to get started, visit lvhomeexperts.com. Scan this QR code right now. Also, if you guys just love real estate and want to get into real estate, go ahead and subscribe to our second channel. Until next time, peace.